this is not bad actually. Six ninety nine. Turkey and cheese with five thousand ingredients. You see them? Tartaric acid esters of monodiglycerides. No thanks. What's up guys? Purple Lotus Samsara. So I'm at the Sacramento International Airport. I have about three hours of my connecting flight. So in the meantime, I'm thinking of finding something that cost ten dollars. See if we can find something in this airport that'll be no more than ten dollars. Of course, if you travel at any time in your life at an airport, you're gonna know that things are notoriously expensive at any airport. There's a huge markup. So let's try to check out what we can get, possibly for ten dollars. Let's see, the Esquire Grill. Let's see candy here. What can we get? Snapwise. Five dollars for these things. They're like two dollars at Walmart, or even a dollar, like a Dollar Tree. It's already getting insane. No more TFA. So we got Jack's Urban Eats, Dos Coyotes Bar Border Cafe, Burgers and Bread. Let's go check it out. In my opinion, I think it's going to start getting worse. Let's see. Jack's All-American Breakfast. $12. Let's see here. Can you see that here? Get a breakfast sandwich with an egg and sausage for 12 bucks. You can add four more with an egg, so that's 15 bucks for a breakfast sandwich. It's really, really expensive. I mean, I keep, I'm just keep saying the word expensive like I'm gonna find something cheap. I'm not gonna find anything cheap. Let's go check out Dos Coyotes Border Cafe. And I can see here, you get a quesadilla for nine bucks, and a bacon for 12 bucks. Or I can get one taco for seven bucks. Jeez. Let's go run through the rest of the options. And you can look at burgers and, burgers and brew here, and I'm looking at it. You can see that it's 13 bucks for a carved turkey cop salad. And it's $12 for a crate. And $14 for a hamburger. That's insane. San Francisco Airport was $18. So this way here, Famiglia Pizzeria. Let's see. This lunch menu is not open yet. They are only going off of this breakfast menu. So I could get all the way up to five item platter here for $8.40. But that's just this stuff. I don't know how long these eggs have been sitting here. And I don't eat pork products. I could eat carbs though. So I could get a two-item platter with eggs and potatoes for $5.25 and possibly get a drink. That's one option. Go check the rest. Check the rest of the options here. So Famiglia Pizzeria is looking like the front runner so far for the $10 meal. I said $10 meal, not, not $5 for a huge bag of M&Ms and other stuff. relatively small airport 
just emptied out about 20 minutes ago. So now it's empty. It's just one strip in the Sacramento airport. That's a jewelry. And of course, the longest line at the airport is at Starbucks. Always the longest line at every airport. So cafeteria 15 L. I'm not getting anything at Starbucks. Cafeteria 15 L. It's gonna be beer and burgers. They cost about 13 bucks. It's nine bucks for a beer. So we are at the end of the strip airport. So now we make our way back. It's time to get some food. This is not much of a huge challenge, but it is uh, in terms of having 50 restaurants in the airport alone. So we can try and check this store here. Oh, they got sandwiches. Let's see what they got. Turkey and cheese. Pretzel bun. What that is. Let's go find out. Okay. Oh, this one's six ninety. This one eleven ninety. Which one? Oh, this one's six ninety. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. So this is not bad, actually. Six ninety nine. Turkey and cheese with five thousand ingredients. You see them? Tartaric acid esters of monodiglycerides. No thanks. Wow, I guess let's see what else we can do here. There's 300 people in line at Starbucks. So I guess the option's gonna be. So now, after extensive. Selecting and maneuvering and budgeting have come to a decision. It was between Burgers and Brew and Familia Pizza. I found something of Burgers and Brew, but it was just a bagel, not a meal. So we're trying to get something as close to possible as a meal. So it looks like we're going to go with this. That's a lot of bacon. That's a lot of bacon. Cool. Yeah, let me get one of these uh, and a large coffee. This is the veggie one, yeah? Okay. Yeah. That's it? Well, it is. Two minutes. Taste this. Let's see what the total is. You said a large coffee? Yeah, no, probably. Oh, yeah. All right, $9.91. $9.91. Awesome. That was coffee, your money. All right. $9.91. All right. Thank you. When you look at it, here it is. So now, got the stuff. The receipt, nine dollars and ninety-one cents. Pretty close to ten, right? So let's see what we have here. This is what we got. Stromboli. I've never had before. I had no idea what they were. So now for the best part. What did we get for $10? What do we get for $10? Everything. $10 is all my mom allows me to spend. So 
doesn't look like the greatest appetizing thing. That reference was from Full Metal Jacket. You didn't know that. So what we got in here basically is uh, eggs, cheese, tomatoes, and onions. Obviously it looks like some frozen spinach. We're not gonna get the greatest food, right? At an airport. So, the moment of truth. This is not very good at all. <laughs> this is super bland. This is the final media phone call for Southwest flight number 4404 with service to Orange County Air AP19. Paging passenger Curtis. No. Shirt camp. Oh. Curtis Shirt camp. It's alright. I, mean, I think salt, some kind boarding. of seasoning would have made this way better. Yeah, this is not very good at all. I'm trying to taste the coffee. I did get 45 packs of sugar. You know, I don't really like hot coffee, but I want to spend four bucks on an ice one, so it's like two something. So one sugar. Let's see here. Two sugar. Thirteen sugar. No, that was three. <laughs> Use the transition to fool you there. I usually take about six. Let's try it with four. See how it is. Let's just try it with four. Inform airport personnel of any unintended bags or suspicious behavior. Do not Ooh, accept packages or other items That's why I don't from really strangers. like hot coffee. Let's try this uh, grease bowly here, or stromboli. Well, this is gonna be about all I can eat from this stromboli here. I'm gonna add more sugar to this coffee. Uh, but of all the major airports I've ever been in, besides like Hilo where I'm from, or Kona, or Maui, which is very, very small, this, this one in a major city, in my opinion, is uh, it's just a strip. It's kind of uh, uh, surprising. I mean, unless there's more wings in this airport, but it's just like one strip with a bunch of mediocre. Uh, shop so I haven't tried this one behind me this Esquire grill but you know ten dollar challenge I would say it was successful in uh, finding it and coming close to the ten dollars it would have been way more of a home run if uh, this was way better so I'm in Sacktown famous Famiglia pizza ten dollar challenge Please subscribe, pay it forward, feed the child, change the world. Follow me on Twitter, purple 78